This is a unique environment. In fact, there's no other place like this anywhere in North America, and I'm not sure there's another place anywhere like it in the world, where right at the boundary of the temperate and tropical zones, we have a, a marsh that is hospitable to creatures from both. So we have animals from the temperate zone like big furry mammals. We have bears and deer here, uh, possums, otters, all kinds of furry mammals. And from the tropical zone or subtropical zone, we get alligators, crocodiles, and most of the big wading birds. Most people come out here looking for the swamp. And here at Shark Valley, this is not a swamp, this is a marsh. So a swamp is heavily forested land with water on the ground. This is grassland with water on the ground. So there's an important difference. People often think that the creatures that live here are dangerous. We are surrounded by several hundred thousand alligators. People worry about being attacked by one. And I would like to make sure everybody knows that in more than 60 years here at Shark Valley, with 100,000 to 200,000 visitors every year, no one's ever been attacked by an alligator. Well, certainly, here's just a, a very interesting example. The gender of baby alligators is determined by the heat of the nest. And above a certain temperature, all the baby alligators are female. Below a certain temperature, they're all males, and in between, it's a mixture. So if the weather keeps warming up, eventually we'll have nothing but female alligators. The biggest threat to the Everglades is poor management of that precious resource, fresh water. And for many years, that water was managed for the benefit of general population and agriculture. And sometimes that meant the park here was dry when it should have been wet or wet when it should have been dry. But we're doing much better about that today and all three partners are getting their share most of the time. Ladies and gentlemen, the wild places of the world are largely endangered. We have in South Florida a very large and unique one. This is 1.5 million acres of wild land. It's the third largest wilderness area in the continental United States. It needs visitors, it needs people to pay attention, it needs volunteers. We welcome you for all of those reasons and we hope you'll come and see us because it is a unique environment unlike any other place in the entire world.